and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gem Assembler. This is going to be our next deck that we're going to play. Another deck that we're taking from Meme Tier over to Ranked, just like we did with the Swole Cat deck. Couldn't have gone better for Swole Cat. That one looked awesome. That was really cool. We're going to try to make some big assembly bots with the help of gems. So that's our gem assembler. Assembly bot, every time we cast a spell, it's going to be getting that plus one, plus one. And we can get some really cheap spells with the help of Mentor the Stones, Gift Giver, and Shards of the Mountain filling our hand with gems. We also have the other thing. Targon gives us a bunch of really good spells. Cheap spells anyway. Guiding Touch, Pale Cascade, Some Blessed Vigor. We have some really good cheap spells for our assembly bot for protecting them, healing them, all of that kind of stuff. And then we also have uh, Sumpworks Map. So that's kind of our plan is grow big assembly bot and then grant elusive. So that's not going to always happen. We're not always going to have assembly bots. We're going to need some other... You know, that's our plan A. We're going to need some other plans. So plan B is same thing with Vi. Every time we're casting a spell with Vi, it's getting growing Vi. We can even use gems. You know, Vi, We can grow Vi up to a 10-4, of course, but we can use gems to make that even bigger. And then we can have Vi have that Sumpworks map to grant Elusive. Let's say we don't have the Sumpworks map. We're also going to play one Cygnus at the top end to be able to grant Elusive to the Assembly Bot or the Vi. And then backup plan, we have Puff Caps. So each one of these spells that we're playing, all these gems that we're playing, if we have some Puff Cap Peddlers in play, we'll give our opponents a bunch of Puff Caps. And then, of course, we have Chump Wump to give them even more Puff Caps. And so they, they get a bunch of Puff Caps. They have Teemo, and they die by Puff Caps. So that's another way that we can win. Uh, backup plan against removal heavy decks that are killing our things is J Madarda, where we can start using our gems to target J Madarda have it survive, draw cards, and we can refill our hand super fast and, and uh, just power through the deck with that. And then if we don't have, if uh, the elusive isn't working, we also have two Zenith Blades for Overwhelm. So we can have either Vi or Assembly Bot have Overwhelm. So that's our other part there. All right, so that's that's our, our deck. Um, yeah, let's see how our Gem Assembler deck does in rank. We played it. Meme tier over in normal, and it did pretty good. Now we're throwing it to the fire of Masters rank. And uh, yeah, seeing how it goes against the toughest competition. So here we go. All right, back to Fiora Shen. Jamie Dart is good. We don't really need spell. I mean, I guess spell shield protects against. Um, Against some of their stuff. Let's maybe mulligan these. We'll keep the Guiding Touch. They're, they're single combat Concerted Strike. Those kind of cards. Not the best Teemo matchup with the Challengers. Teemo doesn't match up against the Challengers too well. One power attacker is back and forth. Huh. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Please don't play Fiora, please don't play Fiora, please don't play Fiora. Single combat. More for my collection. <laughs> it is single combat. They're one two into my two two. Why would you do that? <laughs> we just had the third and the fourth Teemos. Let's go, Teemo. Turn three, our Teemo. This is crazy. Turn three, our Teemo doubled their puff caps to thirty. It's also a four three. And it killed a 1 2. It did all of that. Requires a watchful eye. Teemo, so good. Alright, let's get the gift giver in play. Yeah. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. It must be done. Nature blesses her followers. These gems grant a wearer harmony. Alright, we will heal Teemo. Here comes the punchline. 
on. It's a quick pass. So they can't have concerted strike. I'm, I'm worried about concerted strike. Move it. Killing my Teemo. Right, like that's that's the thing I'm worried about the most. Sapphire, gem of our divine patron. Slippery. Here's the fun part. Heed the bar. Trouble coming at ya. They can't save Shen and have concerted strike kill Teemo, right? Like they can't do both of those. So they can have like a barrier save Shen. Oh, or they have neither. That's pretty big. So yeah, they could add barrier save, but then they would take the Teemo damage. My strength is yours. Oh, we'll just pass turn. Their pride will cost them. Let's see, yeah, we can... Keep by alive. Does visibility happen? Another day in the field. Against a barrier, I'm not exactly sure. Alright, GG's. They got the puff caps for the three, so even the um okay, so it'd still do the five damage to them even if they had the, the lifesteal barrier. That was yeah, that was the deadliest Teemo also, right, Michael? That was like the deadliest team of turn three is leveled up and a four three and also killed a one drop with it. Ooh, I like this hand. Double assembly bot. Could go crazy. We'll see if we're going to be able to survive long enough. The gift giver should be a pretty good blocker to help us stay alive. But this, this is going to be real aggressive. Noxus Shadow Owls They will be very aggressive. Remember my words. I'm glad they don't have the attack token on turn two with the with the leaf. That's good. I don't fight. We'll just be passing. Saving the spell mana to help out our bots. So assembly bot will be a four two? Three. A four three. Kill cascade, it's a four three. <laughs> You won't suffer long. Protector, shield me! Probably worth doing and killing the Elise with a Pale Cascade. Even though obviously I'd like to have the other assembly bot in play whenever I'm casting that Pale Cascade, if possible. So this is a tough turn. Another bot and a gem. Or a chump lump. I think it's the chump lump. any kind of nexus healing. There's nothing to oh. fear. 
brand to wear a harmony. So it's either give the gift giver the one additional power so it can trade with the spiderling or the I'm healing the assembly bot for one health so it can block these these fearsome things easier. Excuse you. And then they level up Elise. More so their next attack turn, I'm going to have 7 mana as far as Hush goes. We're just passing turn. Definitely considering just letting them pass and just, just going with this. Probably don't block with Elise, right? Unexpected. So I do have nine mana, so I do have triple hush available. Currently, see, I could definitely see another frenzied skitter. Yep. Oh, that was pretty likely. So we have a 2-4 and a 4-2. Let's see. So this can be a 3-5. That block here, this block you here. My gift. Let's see, now I hush. Because if I hush the chump wump, it should turn back into a 4-3, right? That should happen. They grow up so fast. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. I thought that if they have Noxion Fervor, the card they want to Noxion Fervor would be this one. It's a peakable horror draining one. Yeah, I guess I, guess I could just have my 3-5 blocking their three their regular 3-1. Yeah, I guess I guess I maybe should just be going over there. I was thinking about the fearsome, but yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just be blocking the regular 3-1. Because that thing's gonna turn into a 1-1 one -one again. So like that thing's not that. Scary of it being a 1-1, one, one, but... Alright, so 5-2. We have Spell Shield. So 7 power with Spell Shield. They're at 7. There we go. GG's. The Assembly Bots. Bronze and iron look like the same, and like you have those and gold, and it's, it's hard to know exactly where you are. Okay, you think you're in platinum, but not sure. Yeah, maybe you are. Maybe you're in diamond. Maybe you're in platinum. Tough to know. All right, Maokai Nautilus. Um, so we're going to be going assembly bot with. Maybe we just mulligan these spells. I mean, I like the Bastion quite a bit to stop a vengeance. But maybe we don't need that for a while. Let's see if we can get some puff caps or some earlier stuff. Cool, because we're going to want to find elusiveness, right? Like, that's that's going to be very important, is having elusive assembly bots. And 
if I had that Pill Cascade in hand, I would have not played the Teemo turn one. I would have played it turn two. And so I would have had that as protection against a Vile Feast. Where we would have been able to draw a card also. Alright, that 3 2 lifesteal is going to be annoying. I'm not blocking it. They're only healing their Nexus for one currently. I want to play this before combat because I want to turn on my Pill, pill Cascade in case we need it. Pill Cascade turned on. Yeah. I want to kill this thing now. Do I want to go Sun Blessed Vigor on an assembly bot and block? I guess we could do that. Should I be playing Vi? Oh, maybe not. Do need to get this lifesteal thing out of here. We can have Vi challenge Abyssal Eye. The Blessed Isles live through me. I tried. Freeze. This is tough. I want to cha challenge Abyssal Eye. But we also should probably be, ki be killing. Yeah, we got to kill the Maokai. We just have to kill Maokai. All right, that's just how it goes. through this 1-4 eventually anyway. Ugh, another 1-4. I assume that's going to take Teemo. Make some pretty big gem assemblers. I think that's a good plan. Fell into them. So maybe they gotta take a gem assembler. No, yep, they're still taking Teemo. So we could go peddler right now and then untap and then play all these gems, grow all these things. Give them three puff caps for each one. I think that's my plan. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. So I have I have six gems. So that would be 18 puff caps, and that would be plus six to all of these things. If I play Teemo, what's the worst that they play? They play Devour of Depths. That's the worst thing they could play. Devour Adepts is not going to be deep. So it would it would take out like my peddler. Well, I guess they could have ruination. That is that is an option. All right, so what if we just attack them? And we challenge. Oh no, the Abyssal Eye. Then they grow up so 
They have my timers going down even though I'm playing stuff. I have to wait for the animations. I can't... I can't play any faster. Give me a break. Okay. Some big old bots. I really like that Pale Cascade draw so that Grasp the Undying, we still have that. Alright, so that's lethal. How does this do against the Trundle deck? Not too bad. Because you can give, you can make like a big gem assembler and then have elusive. One thing you gotta watch for, like Hush. Hush is a card that, that hurts us quite a bit, as you can probably imagine. Alright, they had Vengeance, so we play on. Us playing on is going to have... Shards in that one was pretty sweet, though. Us playing on is going to be us having a leveled up Vi, and a 9-9, and an 11-9, and a 9-2 to their zero cards. Maybe us playing on. What I'm saying is we're still in a pretty good spot. So they want to go jettison and attack with this thing? It's how we lose is jettison atrocity. <laughs> if they have jettison atrocity, we can lose. How are we down to 12? I'm going to take that much damage already. More for my collection! I want to play this Pill Cascade right now just to draw a card. I know, right? Puff Caps are so much fun. way to lose is if they have Jettison Atrocity. It looks like they do. Dive I don't have anything that stops this, do I? How, do, how am I down at 12? Guiding touch! Let's go! <laughs> they did the juicy thing. We're juicy, the juicy bag. Negative 38. There we go. Guiding at touch. We did it together. For when you need it to life. Nightfall. So this is what happened earlier, right? Like we went... Did we lose? Oh, no, no, we didn't lose to Nightfall. Okay, never mind. So yeah, because we were 1-4 and four with Nightfall, and then we played against it earlier, and I was like thinking that we lost to it, but no, we didn't lose to it. All right, so these are our later game cards. We're just going to keep this assembly bot. I like the Peddler 2. I kind of want to keep the Peddler, but I don't, I don't really want to keep two 3-mana cards, like where we do nothing turn 1, turn 2. Instead, we'll just have three three mana cards. That sounds like better. We that sounds like a better plan than the two three mana cards. It's our time. Ow. All right, where's our cheap spells? <laughs> the exact opposite of cheap spells, man. Okay, so we have drawn every most expensive unit in our deck, right? Like our our two six drops, a five drop. 
For flowers bring the moonlight with them. Have a mushroom. Have three. Three. It's gonna at least block the two one at better. Within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, moon sister. Well, their hammer's great. It's so much better than mine. Face your heretic. Sometimes you just get the worst possible hand. GG's. Still not even a spell? Finally, a spell. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Vi stands for vicious. They tried to blind me with resplendent. Yep, 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 yep. But they could not. I played the smaller of my two Vi's, kind of expecting Vi to die. Temperamental as moonlight. <laughs> this is like the perfect Nocturne hand. It's much better than anything we've, we've had before. And that just levels up Nocturne and it's just lethal. She does, Jack. That's yeah. Vi will, yeah. Vi will sometimes say Vi stands for violence. She she has just a few different voice lines. She, you know, just randomly says one of them. Ugh. Let's get to the fun part. Well, great hand for them. Horrible hand for me. That was not even a contest. It's like the game. The game was like, y'all are doing too good. We're gonna just give you this terrible hand. All right, well that was that was a throwaway game for sure. Let's see what we got now: Bilgewater, Noxus. Keep Zenith Blade. It's worried about Zenith Blade actually, you know, about them worried about them killing our assembly bot in response. The Sunforks map isn't great. Pale Cascade is great. That's that's a great card. Another day in the field. So I'm kind of expecting Mega Rain. I have my orders. No, no Mega Rain. Yeah, never know what hit him. So I like playing Teemo, especially with Pale Cascade, I like waiting, you know, the attack token like this. Wait till turn two so you can play it, so then you can have the Pale Cascade Nothing as a protection. So I, obviously I need a block if they go no right pay. to attacks. No pay. So assembly bot's gonna be a 4-3. Not really big enough to kill anything effectively. Awesome hand. The attack token on turn one with a one drop. Turn two, play double one drop, and then turn three, misfortune. Awesome hand. Definitely be me. I'm taking an you know, additional damage here. Keep assembly bot alive. Definitely be too greedy. I should have traded it with Legion Saboteur. I feel like if you know if we're gonna win this game, you like 
That'd be my best block to not die right away, but if we're gonna actually win the game, we're gonna need our assembly bot. Looking for trouble. Come on. It found you. We don't need another one of those. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. We're pretty dead. Their, their hand was amazing. Unfortunately, ran into a couple of very hot aggro decks these last two rounds. We had a respectable hand for sure, unlike last Damn game, it. but their hand was too good. Try again. Guiding Touch is our best draw. So I can kill them next turn. Basically, no matter what I do, I can kill them next turn. better than that than having the attack token turn one with a one drop then double one drop on two misfortune on three and then turn five your next attack turn you drop in another misfortune after you go spray fin on four and then gangplank plus noxion fervor on six so played against a couple of very hot aggro decks there at the end um i like our attack quite a bit though i think our deck's pretty sweet and uh, we didn't get to really have, like, the cool Cygnus kill. Um, so, you know, I don't know. That was just a card that I wanted to try out. We did get a really awesome Shards of the Mountain with Triple Assembly Bot against Deep. That game was crazy cool. Um, and, yeah, we just got to do some cool other stuff with Assembly Bot. We even, we did beat, it's not like we we're going to lose all the time to aggro. Because uh, we did beat an aggro deck earlier. But I think... Especially when you have Assembly Bot, the keys to our deck is like Guiding Touch, Pale Cascade, Song Blessed Figure. Like these cards are key to help protect them. That game we did have a Pale Cascade. Our opponent just had too good of a hand that last game. All right, but there's Gem Assembler. Definitely happy with that. A nice three and two in ranked. We'll we'll take that with Master's Rank with our our J Madarda. Like you know we have J Madarda and Assembly Bot in our deck, and Assembly Bot in particular was looking awesome. All right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Uh, if you try the deck out, let me know how it goes. I think that the acro, the fast aggro like that's going to be a little bit more of a struggle than the, the slower control decks. The slower control decks, you can get some large units, like a large assembly bot and elusive and kill them. You know, kind of combo kill them or, or fill your hand with Jay Medarda or give them a ton of puff caps. I think the slower decks are going to be better for you. Those fast aggro ones you may struggle with a little bit more. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Gem Assembler, and I'll see you for the next video.